In a world where fame and fortune are usually flaunted through extravagant wealth, picture a place where a person's true value isn't gauged by their grand mansion or hefty bank balance, but by the strength of their character. What drives these A-listers to trade luxury for a refreshingly humble life? Prepare to laugh as we delve into the amusing choices of Hollywood's most down-to-earth stars who live as if they're just regular folks. Keanu Reeves is a prime example of someone who, despite having amassed a considerable fortune, leads a remarkably down-to-earth life. The Canadian actor, renowned for his roles in legendary films like The Matrix and John Wick, boasts an impressive net worth of $380 million as of 2024. His wealth primarily stems from his illustrious acting career, which took off in the 1980s with hits such as Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Speed, and Point Break. The Matrix trilogy, however, catapulted him into superstardom, earning him over $200 million from the franchise alone. Yet, Keanu's journey has not been without its challenges. His early life was marked by hardship, with his father leaving when he was just three years old. Raised mostly by his mother, who moved frequently for work, Reeves faced considerable instability, which likely contributes to his grounded demeanor. He has also endured significant personal losses, including the death of his close friend River Phoenix and the tragic loss of his partner Jennifer Syme in a car accident following a miscarriage. These events have deeply influenced his outlook on life, instilling in him a profound sense of empathy and humility. Despite his considerable wealth, Reeves is known for his unpretentious lifestyle. He resides in a modest apartment in Los Angeles rather than a lavish mansion, a stark contrast to many of his Hollywood counterparts. This choice reflects his preference for simplicity and comfort over opulence. Rumor has it that he even shares his home with a few houseplants, perhaps engaging in reflective conversations about life's meaning. When it comes to transportation, Reeves remains low-key. He drives a Honda Accord, a practical and unassuming vehicle that aligns with his humble nature. Unlike other celebrities who flaunt flashy sports cars, Reeves opts for a car that blends into the background, embodying his preference for modesty over extravagance. It's almost as if he's saying, I'm wealthy, but I'm not here to make you feel less. Yet his passion for motorcycles is evident through his co-founding of Arch Motorcycle, a company dedicated to custom bikes. This enthusiasm reflects his adventurous nature while remaining down-to-earth. Despite his fame, Keanu Reeves lives differently. He's unafraid to watch a movie alone and doesn't engage in idle chat with random fans. His remarkable humility has turned him into a legend. Chauffeur Ronnie Sunshine shared a story about Reeves' modesty on the New York Post, page 6. The driver recounted that Reeves waited quietly in the rain outside his rap party for the film Daughter of God in 2014. According to the driver, Keanu was really patiently waiting. He noted, I don't think he said anything to the bouncer like I'm Keanu. No one recognized him. He looked very ordinary. Even though it was raining, he just waited for his friends without showing any sign of his wealth. The club owner later admitted he didn't realize the actor was waiting outside due to his unobtrusive behavior. Reeves' humble lifestyle lets him focus on what truly matters, giving back. He has donated millions to children's hospitals and cancer research, often without seeking recognition. His generosity is legendary. For example, he once gave a significant portion of his earnings from The Matrix to the film's crew to ensure they were fairly compensated. When asked about his wealth, Reeves has said, Money is the last thing I think about. This perspective is refreshing in an industry often focused on materialism. He values the joy of acting and working with talented artists far more than financial gain. Jennifer Lawrence is a Hollywood superstar who, despite her Oscar-winning fame, prioritizes comfort over couture, and remains refreshingly genuine in a world of polished personas. Often hailed as America's sweetheart, Jennifer Lawrence is celebrated not only for her incredible acting talent, but also for her down-to-earth nature. She rose to prominence with her roles in The Hunger Games and Silver Linings Playbook, earning both millions and an Oscar at the age of 22. With an estimated net worth of $160 million, she stands as one of Hollywood's highest-paid actresses, reflecting her dedication and success. However, if you think she's living in a lavish mansion, think again. Despite her sudden success, Jennifer chose to stay in the same modest two-bedroom apartment she had before her breakthrough. Even her subsequent upgrade was to a relatively modest house in Beverly Hills, modest by Hollywood standards at least. Previously owned by Jessica Simpson, her home is more charming than extravagant. A notable story about Jennifer's modesty involves a sofa, she bought after winning the Oscar. 
Instead of splurging on a designer extravagance, she spent $25,000 on a new couch. Significant, but relatively modest in Hollywood, where such amounts can easily be spent on a single night out. Jennifer Lawrence has playfully called it the most luxurious item she's ever bought, saying that just looking at it makes her feel like she's living the high life. When it comes to cars, she's kept things refreshingly simple. While others in Hollywood were cruising around in Ferraris and Lamborghinis, Jennifer preferred driving a Volkswagen Eos, a convertible that's more girl next door than glamorous diva. She later upgraded to a Chevrolet Volt, a plug-in hybrid that signals her commitment to the environment without needing to flaunt a flashy vehicle. In an industry obsessed with fashion, Jennifer's approach is delightfully down-to-earth. She's known for recycling outfits, a major faux pas in Hollywood, like the time she wore the same dress to multiple events. She's joked about her lack of interest in fashion, saying she's happiest in sweatpants with her dog when she's not working. On the red carpet, she's famously awkward, often poking fun at her discomfort with high fashion. Remember when she fell at the Oscars twice, once while accepting her award, and again on the red carpet the next year. Instead of getting embarrassed, she laughed it off, which only made her more relatable to fans. Despite having millions in her bank account, Jennifer Lawrence isn't above shopping at Ikea. She's openly expressed her fondness for the Swedish furniture store and even admitted to assembling her own furniture. Imagine the Oscar winner wrestling with an Allen wrench to put together a Billy bookcase. However, her down-to-earth nature is perhaps most evident in her charitable work. Lawrence is known for generously donating to causes she supports, such as through her Jennifer Lawrence Foundation which backs organizations like the Boys and Girls Clubs of America and the Special Olympics. She's also an outspoken advocate for gender equality, using her platform to address pay gaps in Hollywood. In an industry where many celebrities are better known for their lavish lifestyles than their contributions, Lawrence is a breath of fresh air. She humorously claims she's terrible with money, but perhaps that's because she prefers not to squander it on unnecessary things. She values a simple, authentic life, whether that's enjoying pizza in her pajamas or spending quality time with her family in her hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. While other stars might be buying private islands or gold-plating their iPhones, Jennifer Lawrence finds contentment in living like an everyday person, albeit one with an Oscar and a hefty bank balance. That's what makes her so relatable. She's a superstar who feels just as at home on her couch as she does on the red carpet, choosing a modest lifestyle in an otherwise extravagant Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio Imagine a man who has not only survived a shipwreck, fought off a bear, and danced with wolves, but also chooses to lead a refreshingly modest life. DiCaprio, a major figure in Hollywood with an estimated fortune of $300 million, has achieved a lot, especially considering he famously portrayed a character who let go of a perfectly good door in Titanic. One might assume that with such wealth, he would reside in a mansion made entirely of gold, but that's not the case. DiCaprio opts for a more understated approach. He possesses a beautiful residence in the Oriole Way neighborhood in Los Angeles, though it's not the grand estate one might envision. Instead, it embodies a let's-keep-it-classy but not flashy aesthetic. Why would you need a 20-car garage when you can have a few eco-friendly vehicles and a private island in Belize? Yes, that's correct. He owns an island, which may seem more extravagant than a simple lifestyle, but it's dedicated to environmental conservation. Moreover, DiCaprio is a fervent advocate for environmental issues. Leonardo DiCaprio is well known for utilizing his wealth to advocate for sustainability, frequently investing in green technologies and backing initiatives aimed at combating climate change. You could consider him the quintessential advocate for environmental preservation, demonstrating that it is possible to be affluent and still prioritize the well-being of our planet. Unlike some celebrities who seem more focused on their latest designer accessory, DiCaprio dedicates his efforts to protecting polar bears and planting trees. Regarding automobiles, although DiCaprio's collection features high-end brands such as Lamborghini, Ferrari, and Audi, he avoids showcasing them extravagantly. Instead, you might find him driving an eco-friendly vehicle like a Tesla around town. His real estate holdings are notable, encompassing properties valued in the millions. Yet he is also recognized for his savvy in selling homes at a substantial profit. For instance, he sold his Malibu residence for $1 million, 
netting a profit of $10 million. It's almost as if he's engaging in a game of Monopoly, but with a focus on acquiring environmentally friendly properties rather than classic boardwalk. DiCaprio's charitable contributions are remarkable, with donations totaling millions to various causes, including wildlife conservation and climate action. Indeed, he has raised over $80 million for charity, earning him a reputation akin to the Robin Hood of Hollywood, ever attentive to the needs of others. Although he might not reside in a gilded mansion or parade in the newest sports car, Leonardo DiCaprio leads a life enriched with purpose, impact, and authenticity. And in the realm of Hollywood, this is more valuable than all the Oscars combined. Robert Pattinson achieved widespread fame as the brooding heartthrob Edward Cullen in the Twilight series, a role that could have easily led him to a life of opulence, complete with a gold-plated mansion and rooms dedicated to hair care products. Instead, he chose a path that is more relatable and occasionally quite eccentric. When Twilight premiered, Pattinson quickly became an overnight sensation, sending waves of mostly teenage fans and their puzzled parents into a frenzy. With such fame and fortune, one might expect him to live like a vampire king, complete with a castle and a collection of sleek black sports cars. However, ever the iconoclast Pattinson chose a different course. Instead of embracing the Hollywood lifestyle, he is known for his delightfully unconventional choices both in his career and personal life. As of 2024, Pattinson's net worth is estimated at $100 million, largely accumulated from the immensely successful Twilight franchise, where his base salary for the later films was $25 million, along with a substantial share of back-end revenue, totaling $40 million per film. In 2011, he ranked 15th on Vanity Fair's Hollywood Top 40, with earnings of $27.5 million. Additionally, in 2010, he earned $3 million for his role as the titular character in The Batman. Despite his wealth, Pattinson has remained down-to-earth. He continues to drive a 2001 Chevy Silverado, which he purchased for $2,100. One of the most endearing aspects of Pattinson is that he never took himself too seriously after Twilight. Rather than pursuing blockbuster films, he leaned towards smaller independent movies, far from the mainstream. His living situation was equally unpretentious. At one point, he famously rented a small house in Hollywood that resembled a converted junkyard more than a luxurious residence. The house was described as a quasi-dump, with a broken hot tub, a pool that looked like a pond, and an overall ambience that shouted, I'm rich, but who cares? He cherished the place because it allowed him to escape the limelight, a recurring theme in his life. Even when Robert Pattinson purchased a Spanish-style mini-mansion in Hollywood, he did so for a relatively modest sum of $6.3 million. Despite his immense fame, Pattinson's personal style remained surprisingly unpretentious, often featuring mismatched outfits such as beanies, worn t-shirts, and unbuttoned plaid shirts. He is even known for wearing the same clothes for several days, a stark contrast to other celebrities who maintain a constant connection with stylists. Yet, Pattinson somehow manages to exude an effortlessly cool demeanor. If you find Pattinson's modesty impressive, just wait until you learn about another Hollywood luminary, Ryan Reynolds. If you thought that Hollywood stars had to choose between fame and humility, Reynolds demonstrates that it's possible to blend both. Balancing a blockbuster career with an unexpectedly grounded lifestyle, Reynolds boasts a net worth of $350 million thanks to successful films such as Deadpool and Free Guy, as well as astute investments like co-owning Aviation Gin, which he sold for $610 million in 2020. Despite his financial success, Reynolds is more like the guy next door, albeit one who is exceptionally humorous and attractive. Rather than indulging in flashy cars or private islands, Reynolds is often seen driving a practical family-friendly SUV and has humorously admitted his uncertainty about how to spend his money. While many celebrities splurge on luxury items, Reynolds seems content with ensuring his three daughters are entertained by his endless supply of dad jokes. He and his wife, Blake Lively, reside in a charming three-bedroom house in Bedford, New York, which they purchased for $2.3 million. They later upgraded to a $5.7 million residence, but it remains far from a typical celebrity mansion. Reynolds finds true happiness in the comfort of his home with his family, 
away from the Hollywood spotlight. His modesty extends to his personal life as well, as he takes pleasure in simple activities like playfully teasing his wife on Instagram or sharing awkward throwback photos. When he's not performing, Reynolds creates deadpan commercials for Mint Mobile, often poking fun at his own celebrity status. Despite his unassuming demeanor, Reynolds is also exceptionally philanthropic, contributing millions to causes such as food banks, COVID-19 relief, and supporting indigenous communities in Canada, all while avoiding any grand displays of his generosity. And just when you think Hollywood could not become any more grounded, there's another icon who has perfected modesty to such an extent that she makes thrift store fashion appear as if it were haute couture. Sarah Jessica Parker, renowned for her iconic portrayal of Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City, could have easily embraced an extravagant lifestyle given her immense fame and success. However, she stands out as a Hollywood star who embodies modesty as effortlessly as her on-screen character embodies Manhattan chic. While one might assume that a fashion icon like Sarah Jessica Parker would possess a wardrobe worth more than some small nations, she remains refreshingly grounded in her fashion choices. Although Carrie Bradshaw popularized high heels and designer labels, Parker herself is known for her down-to-earth fashion sensibility. She has been seen wearing everything from vintage finds to off-the-rack outfits, often blending high and low fashion in a style that exudes, I'm fabulous, but I'm also practical. In interviews, Parker humorously reflects on her upbringing, stating, I think my mother regrets that there were things she couldn't provide us with, but I strive to be as sparing with my children as my mother was. Rather than focusing on lavish gifts, she prioritizes experiences, remarking, I prefer to take my kids to the park than buy them a yacht. Who needs a yacht when you have a swing set? This perspective underscores her belief in the value of longing and earning over instant gratification. Despite having a net worth surpassing $100 million, Parker and her husband, Matthew Broderick, reside in a modest home in New York City's West Village. She once humorously commented on her wardrobe, saying, I own a lot of shoes, but I also have a lot of children, so it balances out. Perhaps most surprisingly, Parker has a genuine passion for thrift shopping. Despite having the means to acquire any designer item she desires, she is often spotted searching for treasures at thrift stores. She has openly admitted to enjoying the thrill of finding unique pieces and is known for mixing thrifted items with high-end fashion in her wardrobe. If you've ever wondered how Carrie Bradshaw would look in a secondhand dress, just take a glimpse at Parker's real-life wardrobe. In addition to her acting career, Parker has ventured into the business world with her own line of shoes and clothing. Despite the success of her brand, she maintains a modest approach to business. Her entrepreneurial efforts, particularly her SJP collection, reflect her personal style with a focus on practical elegance rather than flashy marketing. Ultimately, Sarah Jessica Parker demonstrates that one can achieve Hollywood stardom without the need for a mansion or a fleet of luxury vehicles. As she eloquently puts it, I think it's valuable to yearn for something so that when you finally obtain it, it holds true meaning. You're not casual about possession. In her world, the true luxuries are laughter and love. Ashton Kutcher may currently be at the zenith of his career, but the 38-year-old from Iowa discovered the hard truth that the proverbial lemon's life is meant to hand out do not come without their cost. The Butterfly Effect star's life narrative unfolds in a manner akin to the many dramatic roles he has portrayed, encompassing teenage struggles with addiction, legal troubles, and financial hardships. Despite his success and impeccably styled hair, Ashton's past has been a persistent shadow. However, the man who turned dude, where's my car, into a cultural touchstone now possesses a fortune that seems almost beyond comprehension. Rather than indulging in the extravagance of purchasing a private island and hiring a legion of servants to fan him with palm fronds, he has opted for a surprisingly unassuming way of life. As of 2024, Kutcher's net worth is estimated at around $330 million, with an annual income nearing $4 million. He commands an impressive $1 million per episode for his television appearances, yet he consistently demonstrates that wealth does not equate to happiness. In an interview with Esquire, Kutcher reminisced about his early days in New York City, 
recounting a humorous moment when he mistakenly believed that Prince's VIP area was a public space and approached the music legend for a chat. This anecdote underscores Kutcher's genuine nature and lack of pretension, even amidst fame. His investments in high-profile companies such as Airbnb, Uber, and Spotify have substantially bolstered his financial standing, yet he remains grounded and true to his principles. During an interview with your story, he shared his guiding philosophy. Don't settle for what life gives you. Make life better and build something. Despite his ability to afford the world, Ashton Kutcher chooses to remain content with his longtime car, driving a selection of luxury vehicles, including a $1.4 million Ferrari. He also owns a $15 million mansion in Beverly Hills and several other properties across the United States. Nevertheless, he refuses to let his wealth dictate his identity. In 2019, Kutcher faced a severe health crisis when he was diagnosed with vasculitis, a condition that temporarily impaired his vision, hearing, and mobility. This ordeal provided him with a profound understanding of life's fragility and shifted his perspective. He realized that true happiness is an internal state and that material wealth does not necessarily lead to fulfillment. This revelation has influenced his choices regarding roles and narratives, reaffirming his commitment to a modest lifestyle. Ashton Kutcher's dedication to remaining grounded is not merely a personal choice, but a reflection of his core values, demonstrating that wealth and fame need not compromise one's character. Hilary Swank Picture an actress who has reached the zenith of Hollywood success while staying deeply rooted in her modest origins. Let's delve into the story of this two-time Academy Award-winning actress, a true Hollywood powerhouse with an impressive net worth of approximately $40 million. Yet, despite her glittering accolades, including those prestigious Oscars for Boys Don't Cry and Million Dollar Baby, she has opted for a lifestyle that defies the norms typically associated with her level of fame. Swank's ascent to stardom was anything but straightforward. She spent her formative years in a trailer in Nebraska, a stark contrast to the dazzling lights of Hollywood. After relocating to Los Angeles with her mother to chase her acting dreams, she famously endured a period of living out of her car, demonstrating remarkable dedication and perseverance. Just imagine the self-talk she must have engaged in as she visualized her success. One might anticipate that Swank would indulge in extravagant parties or splurge on diamond-encrusted pet accessories, but she defies such expectations. Known for her modest tastes, she prefers a low-profile lifestyle, finding joy in simple activities such as hiking and cooking. It's not uncommon to spot her at local grocery stores, underscoring her down-to-earth nature despite her numerous accolades. Swank's commitment to her craft is legendary. Four Million Dollar Baby she underwent a significant physical transformation, adding 19 pounds of muscle and training with the intensity of a warrior. Her daily intake of 210 grams of protein was a testament to her rigorous regimen, a diet that probably involved a lot of chicken breasts. Even with her considerable wealth, Swank remains remarkably grounded. She frequently emphasizes the value of family and personal relationships over material wealth. In interviews, she humorously reflects on the oddities of fame, stating, I'm just a girl from Nebraska who got lucky. Her genuine humility and charisma make her not just an acclaimed actress, but also someone who would be delightful to share a coffee with, perhaps to hear her insights and exchange some protein shake recipes.